fucking give him, give him boxing gloves. <laughs> Get him to fight. No, he's gonna give him brass knuckles if anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him cry. choke slams into the pool. Is what I'm gonna give him. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they don't, they don't have anything on them. Ain't important. That'd be awkward. Anyways, they don't want to get this wrong. In the pool with their phone. In the what back. happened last time? <sighs> so, uh, we were probably it was a super short time. session last week. So yeah, uh, we were planning on leaving town and then rose popped in like hey i have a different thing <laughs> um and she wanted to like go and attempt to help nadia colette boy with her familial issues <laughs> and uh after discussion it seemed that not a lot of people were really into it um but jesse ended up showing up and was saying like hey i'm gonna go visit bethany and, uh, I was about to say Valter for some reason. Varric. Don't know why that got mixed up in my head. Um, uh, Varric suggested, like, hey, she could probably be of help in this case. And it's like, you're not wrong, but do we really want to release the murder that we caught literally last night? Some debate was yes, had there. evils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we ended up going with Jesse to Bethany. Um, learned a bit about her and her past. And... Oh, I uh, she, had an, she had an awesome story that you guys didn't get, get told. It's a shame. Oh well. The question is, how much will she? Would she actually tell us? If you guys asked. Yeah. It's a story about her. Uh, I say upbringing, but uh, not really an upbringing. It's more of a something that just she was a part of when she was younger. I say a part of. It. She wasn't even a part of it. She just got to witness it. But uh, hey, ritualistic uh, sacrifices. No, it's mo it's a story of how her um, acolyte missionary group, the pilgrimage group rather, which would just travel around the provinces doing pilgrimages, <laughs> well, was um, hounded by an ice devil. Hmm. Yeah, so ice devils are like insectoid looking yeah. devils that are like commander people. And then uh, having been fed up with it, all they did as a group, the acolytes of Gorshak Krogdick were like, alright, we're gonna go fucking get the bastard who, who wants to come with, and everyone's like, yeah, I'll go with you, yeah, 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 kill, yeah. And that, that's literally it. They just went after the fucker and killed him. And then Bethany Fair. was put away to the side because she wasn't old enough to help. You're, you're like, you gotta watch. just witness the murder. <laughs> well, you gotta watch, and that was pretty yeah. cool. Cool. Ugh. Maybe we'll come across that story if we interact with her more. <laughs> You'll get but, the fucker. Yeah. Don't know if we're gonna interact with her more. Um, Where is the ice still over the ridge? How far is the ridge? It's like 700 feet. Are you gonna sprint charge 700 feet? No. I said he's over the ridge, so I'm gonna have to sprint charge over 700 feet. I got you. <laughs> Uphill. Yeah. I see um, the militarity's approach. <laughs> <laughs> Cast haste on him. <laughs> Double movement speed, dash as a bone or as a hasted action, dash as a regular action, runs 400 feet in one round. Action surge to get a little further. <laughs> but, no, far, wait, you're saying action oh, surge. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that would be so great. You did all that. It's like, ah, you're here. Your Shit. friends are all over there, though. And you've used all your resources to get to me. Fantastic. <laughs> Good, now we're on an even playing field. <laughs> Fine, you get the first attack, but I get the second. <laughs> That I will destroy you. Um. Anyways, talk to her. Uh, ended up leaving for a brief stint to like discuss the kind of situation that we're in and what we could and could not, or what we could do. Um, there was a lot of toss around of like who could we get as resources to try and go at this without us directly intervening. Crash gave us the reminder that um, the people that Acer know weren't suggesting going like straight at them they were suggesting like taking the dismantling the group like getting rid of the i don't want to say bodyguards they're kind of nathaniel's bodyguards underling underlings that's a good way to put it but yeah just like convince them to like separate from him and then go at him because he would then be weaker and more approachable um it'd be less of a suicide trip yeah yeah uh and i think I think we ended saying we were going to visit not Bethany, uh, Nadia, and 
I think it was the, the consensus of, like, at least trying to convince her, like, hey, don't go running at this right now. You will die, and it will be mostly fruitless, if not completely fruitless. L less convince, more inform. <laughs> inform. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, and I think, Crash, you did rolling to determine where she would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout out the Noble Quarters. Yeah. Which is At the moment, at least. Yeah, which is the only location that we can really think of to go visit her, so hopefully she stays there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep, and that's once I punch into music. So it's been a while since we've used Violet Evergarden music, mostly because it got, de it got fucking taken down, but ha ha ha, never underestimate. Uh, the thieving community of YouTube, so we got put up again, anyways. As long as it doesn't get flagged. Mm -hmm. It didn't last time, so. Hmm. Let's see. Another sunny day. Oh, those kids be screaming. So not a place to call home. Strange yeah, business so pass. Each room and memory never come back. Sort your life out, kids. You're eight. You should have shit together right now. <laughs> you Video kidding? blocked in your country. I that <laughs> one song is blocked, but the rest of them are not. <laughs> Specifically, don't, not that I want the rest of them to be blocked to me, but I do find it peculiar that only one of them is. Hmm. Alright. Is it like the most popular one? Mm hmm. I need some water. I don't have water. I don't have any water. He's fine. So you're good. You're good. You're good. And stop. Okay, wait. Uh, no, no, no. for quiet, what's that? <laughs> Alright, city map. You are in the tangles, hell yeah. Everyone's favorite place to hang out. <laughs> We're all in jail now. Yeah. Emphasis on the hang. Oh, <laughs> Hanging from the tangles. It's got a nice ring to it. So, yeah. you guys are at the tangles, and uh, you guys can talk to Bethany for any more details, information, or questions. Blah blah blah. I shouldn't say blah blah. blah thereof or you guys are free to go track it down I, i'll use uh, nadia lady or i guess she's done i don't know lord lord ass cold over way i think I'll... only of her name last name. Last you don't name. get the of of blank of your name part until you're royal so Fair i enough. guess that's something 99.99 percent of the population will never experience <laughs> Now, if you guys became traitors, oh, I'm a very cool. You start doing that whatever you want. It just have no meaning. And you'd probably be hunted to death, or at least attempted death. Should not seen the shit the traitors have. <laughs> so, yeah, the choice is your guys, or you guys can just go pick up your armor and go leave town. All Abigail needs to do is give Catalina and Connor a heads up that you guys are leaving town. And to, for them to meet you guys, or for, you, that, for that you'll meet them. That we all meet up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys discuss that. I'll be right back. I'm going to go use the bathroom because this caffeine's kicking my ass. <laughs> but I think it's good because it will actually let you guys talk about what you guys want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I'm not that fussed actually if you want to go off and quickly talk before we go. But. Yeah, so I'm of the mindset to find her, Nadia that is. Mm -hmm. uh, tell her, hey, this is what you're up against, have fun. And then we go pick up the armor and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You're gonna die. If you yeah, want to throw your life away to you. accomplish nothing, whatever. If not, plans are in motion. Mm -hmm. So yeah. be patient or die. Uh, oh, a joke. Die literally completely worthless because he will walk away from that and be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's probably... <laughs> Unless we directly intervene, that's probably the best approach. Yeah, I feel that, yeah. Wait, wait. At least then we're still sort of keeping our distance. Uh, hmm. Well, a safe distance, maybe. I mean, assuming that we're not being watched by, like, the dragonfly and we just don't fucking know it. Oh, yeah, you just had to tell me that, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> that might not even be a night issue. Hmm. Yeah. I would expect them to keep tabs on us. Hmm. They can oh, keep tabs on right Nadia. They, they know she's about to do her things. Of course they keep tabs on her. That's silly. Oh, excuse me. Well, actually. Did Nathaniel ever mention... No, it was Asa that mentioned the sisters. Do they know she's around? I'd be surprised if they didn't, more than anything. Yeah. Well, I think technically we've only met them the once, right? Mm. Yeah. Did, yeah, when and that was only... Operate under the assumption that she is. Mm. It's yeah. safe a bit. It's like at least like a... I want to say like 70-30 in favor of... Mm. God, this sure is like... But yeah, I quickly go up and be like, Hey, don't be daft. And then... Maybe not phrase it that way. Just, just. You know. Well, you know, I mean. <laughs> yeah, being a dumb cunt, don't be that. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Yeah. Okay, see you later. Because he's what he's got. Keaton, Ringo, the dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's Who a else? point of like the dragonfly could probably take her out before she the, even knows um, what's going on. Much less everyone. The, else. Uh, I forget the title he has, but the the um, the accord person. Yeah, I I don't remember. I remember he's bald. <laughs> Wait, was that? Are you talking about the bald one that was at the bar, or the other one? No, the person whose um, who whose coin it was originally. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, one, um, or a, didn't exactly oh, favor. Sick. Yeah, this lizard's got a massive beetle in his mouth, and he's carrying it around. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Boy's got lunch. Um, uh, I've got a feeling it began with an H, but I I'm not. Oh, that really helps too. That, that, that would be like two notebooks back for me right now. I'm not gonna look that up. Actually, Even that's. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah. Like, there, there's just so many powerful individuals there that, like, she wouldn't get close to him. Except for at the end when he shows up to clearly gloat. Like, that's probably something he would do. He seems the type. And then mm. murder her and probably use her soul for some thing evil yeah no oh, yeah so. possibly like if something could bring him back to life there's probably a very easy way to t keep her from coming back kind of thing mm -hmm. Oof. anyways oh what the fuck? Okay, apparently, yeah. oh it's in this book okay that's is it in the sneaky book yeah because my first entry is about that picnic that we had on that island at breakpoint. So it oh, should sure, be yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, so many sessions that were in the dragon hunt. And there yeah. is. I'm going to find this guy's name. Yeah. By God. I believe in you. I hope you brought your, uh, your A game here, Garth, because you're going to have to be the one to convince her. Haha, -ha, that's going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> your your character is the one who wants to help. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've seen 
raised by cigars. We've got to be on the right sort of area. Okay. Um, so, guys, got Dragonfly, Dorner, Niccolo, Capelli. And one of those guys. Hey, no now. screeching. It is not that hard to have fun without screeching. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be one of these four guys. So it's either Dorner or Niccolo Capelli that had the coin. Which is such I know a it's... gangster name. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> um, Niccolo Capelli, I leave that horse under your bed. <laughs> I was thinking more of a New York accent, but hey. <laughs> I had the Godfather in my head. It, oh, you know. You just had a little too much Italian. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I'm making this boss. I'm, like, putting the finishing touches on it. It's that mm -hmm. storm giant I was telling you about. He's so nasty. <laughs> so targets within 60 feet can't get advantage against him. He has three portent rules. He has five luck points. He can give himself advantage or give anyone disadvantage on anything. He's 286 HP, 25 AC, three attacks that are all can can equal about 90 damage around. Oh, and I'm back. And it has like seven different mm. other abilities as well as seventh and eighth level spells. Sounds what? pretty nasty. Mm. Got, got a homebrew monster? Yeah, that uh, storm giant. Oh, uh, hell yeah. The the one that... Uh, oh, yeah. He also... Yeah. He flies around on a, ro on a rock. Like the bird rock, not like a boulder. Yeah. The, the, the giant gargantuan bird. <sighs> Good shit. Which in and of itself is like a CR-11. <laughs> Yeah, buff it. Make it tier 15. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even using it. I'm just plugged into the wall. So, what are you guys' plans? Um, I think we're saying just going up, sort of, Ward and Nadia, and then just get our armor and go, I think. That's what you guys want. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Yes. We, yes, okay, we need cool. Jesse's assistance in getting the noble scores, though. Because I'm, I'm confident in saying that they won't just let us walk in. Well, you say that, but they do just let you walk in once you have a writ of passage. Mm. Which is exactly what Jesse gives you. She has oh, really? the legal authority to write such a stuff up. It's not a permanent thing, it's like a one-off uh, consumable, I guess you would call it. Ten Bureaucratically minutes. consumable. Yeah, it has, like, the date or something on it. It's, like, for, like, this period of time. Yeah. It's, going. it's a hall pass. Basically. <laughs> Except for it's not attached to, like, a large piece of wood or something. Never got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you wouldn't steal it, motherfucker. I could just pull it off anyways. Yeah. What am I going to do if I steal it? You'll know it's gone because <laughs> I didn't give it back. That was it's a lose-lose situation for me. What's up? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even need to Does Jesse know it. where mm -hmm. she lives? Oh, we could probably ask a guard. You can ask the noble quarter guards. Oh, okay. and they can point you the right way. The thing is, she doesn't own a place here. She stays with another person. Right. She sort of lost or willingly gave up. <laughs> it's not losing if you've forsaken it. Mm. AKA, how to feel better about gambling when you've lost. The gambler's fallacy at its finest. No, that's yeah, not the game, obviously. But yeah, she doesn't have her own place in the nobles' quarters. She stays with someone else. And it is to that location which you guys are directed. It should be up here. Towards the edge. Oh, the edge. You guys are directed through the noble quarters. Nobles. Quarters. 
guards don't pay you guys too much mind. They're more of a notating armament and armor and, you know, that sort of capability. But, you know, it is a poor assassin that walks around in the middle of the street in broad daylight. <laughs> Unless you're the distraction. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Nonetheless. Like, they don't pay you guys much heed. And, that, and that's sort of the catch with Noble Court and stuff like that. As long as you don't walk onto their the property that they're charged with defending or, man, or monitoring and stuff like you're that, fine. you're fine. So you just stay on the main yeah. path. No one really cares because it's not their jurisdiction yet. If it does become their jurisdiction, if you allow it to become their jurisdiction by giving them probable cause. So if something's, you guys, if you something's guys happening at like a noble's house... Would it be like noble quarter guards that go assist with that, or is it just like any house guards, guards would there? handle internal affairs? Oh, City watch guards are allowed to enter onto the premises as well. Adjacent house guards oh. for assumption of expand expanding purpose can also go intervene if they believe it necessary. Okay. Which is to say, like if some there's a fire next door, the fire can spread to your house. So you send your house oh. guards to go help with that fire, so it doesn't spread to your house. Okay. Okay. So it's like, if it affects me, I'll send them kind of thing. Okay, okay. Well, for the house guard. It's joint jurisdiction, essentially, at that point. Fair enough. The Lord is free to tell City Watch guards to piss off as a Lord or Noble of a, of a location, of a city, of a town, or whatever. Do Nobles usually do that? No. <laughs> and it, it's pretty suspect. So, most nobles don't do it without very good reason. Because if you keep doing it, that's when the fucking Royal Guard or Special Watch gets sent over. So, yeah. You guys traverse through the nobles' quarters and are sent over to... Well, I, I say familiar. I guess in in this iteration... It's not familiar because you guys haven't met her yet. I'm not talking about Nadia either, by the way. No need to double check how to say her name. Was the it the person name. that was interested in Varric last campaign? <laughs> mm -hmm. Some things don't change because they can be twisted. Where is it? It's not in the section I thought it would be in, so therefore I am confused. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. House. House, let's see. I should probably put that way on. Put that in. Wait, first. Let me check. House. Oh, wait, right. shit. Don't be on that. So, you guys get sent over to House of Seva when you guys are asking about Lady Colette. Lord S, my bad. Colette Roy. And once you guys get to House of Seva in traditional customary slash suspicious, I think, suspicious manner, it is House of Seva's house guard no shit that walk up to you guys and simply ask what's your business classic uh, guard phrase yeah. it's just like a guard asking <laughs> do you know how fast you're going <laughs> you say i have you're no pop. idea bingo uh, um yeah we're in here, yeah we're here to speak to lordess uh colette roy we were told they both look at each other, the two of them. Lady Cool at Roy. Hmm. They both look at each other again once you confirm. Alright. Picked uh, either very opportune or awkward time, but whatever. Come on, boss. <laughs> Round back. Well, that was definitely interesting. And, uh, you guys don't, you guys are jumpy, eh? Jump no. Why? Jumpy, why? As if by dramatic entrance or as if the guard knows what he's talking about, you guys hear a gunshot ring out. That's why. Oh, oh that tracks. Okay. 
Is she like target practice or do we have to worry about it? I hope so. <laughs> you hope so. Okay, you let's go for an answer. <laughs> fair answer. I'll give you that. The guard leads you around the manor itself and towards the back gardens of it. I say gardens. Uh, it is mostly gardens, but there is one segment which has been cleared away of brush, bramble, hedge, and any other flora made flat and level and well, a fire range has been set up. Nothing too extravagant, even especially given that this is a noble house. It's pretty not shoddily set up, but it's not it's clearly not meant to last significant like a long time. It's like, you know, put bricks up put <laughs> wood on bricks, make table Boom. Minecraft. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, I swear, I swear what you do for Minecraft interior decoration. Punch the trees. Punch the tree. So yeah, the two guards, guardsmen lead you guys around back and they don't lead you over to Lord S. Colette Roy. They simply gesture and point at her from a, what you assume, reasonably safe distance. And... You guys could see her doing exactly what you would expect target practice. Decently long distance for at least for a revolver target practice. How good of a shot is she? Well, she is yet to miss as of your guys' entrance. Good shot. To be fair, she is shooting still targets. Hmm. Although. Do you have gun proficiency? I don't recall. Uh, I don't. Not Sandra. Fighters should have it. Uh, do they get gun proficiency? They do. Anyone that gets martial proficiencies get gun proficiency. Okay. Yeah, I'm oh, someone about gunslinger myself. <laughs> <laughs> Minotaur Ruan gunslinger! Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> How do you do, you fellow gunslingers? <laughs> Putting a cannon hat. in hand cannon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, in that case, she's probably seen it in action, but she just prefers not to use guns. Because she likes traditional bows and shit. Fair enough. Also, this is what, what uh, Ruhan would have. He wouldn't have, uh, uh, he wouldn't have a hand cannon. Why does, have a why, cannon? Does, why does this Link have like 5 billion characters? Because he must it, suffer. What, what, is yeah, it Google Link? No, it's like, it's just, it's, yeah, it's a Google Link, but like, not all Google Links have that. Anyways. Yeah, this is the way he has, he has Link the, the arm cannon. That's what Ruan has. Nice. Jesus. But it's on the good you arm. You a literal cannon. Uh, you know, that, yeah, it's just literally that, a cannon. Actually. Would that actually work as like a shield too? Because like, it's just a chunk of metal. I don't think you want to damage the cannon, mate. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially if it's loaded. Yeah. Oh no, you set it off. Oh no, your chest is right but where the barrel goes. Those of you that have gun proficiency, she is shooting a bit out of the normal distance of a revolver. Still on target, though. Um, that being said, it, I guess it tracks that you two would know it. I'm not going to make you guys roll for it, given that Ruhan is a rune knight, so he does have some experience in mystical equipment and you're literally an arcane archer right? <laughs> she is shooting custom rounds of some sort like they have magic and elements imbued into them so either she has access to someone who can make that or she can make them herself uh does it seem similar to since you brought up arcane archer does it seem similar to like her brand of magic Mm, to a degree. To a degree. Okay. To a degree. You sort of call in shots as you do them for arcane shots. This does this isn't the same as like an esoteric enhancement of like changing elements like you would do, but it follows by result similar by process, you don't think the same. 